क्या मिला भी ऐसा भी नौ सब Um, yeah, again, we closed out a really tight game. Uh, probably could have taken the three points uh, one phase earlier uh, rather than tapping and going, but uh, we, we actually made some good ground out of that and made it a little bit easier for Ben Donaldson to knock the, the three points over to give us the, the scoreboard differential um, that took it beyond one score. Uh, yeah, some of the tries were spectacular and... Um, a, and we're on the back of some really good skill, but um, a little bit fortuitous as well. I, I think uh, the way Filippo Dongunu um, chased the ball tonight and, uh, and got into support positions uh, was a difference maker for us as well. Um, we, we built our way into the game in, in parts. I, I, I felt those line-out steals toward the end of the game were really important. Um, and uh, you know that they got back into the game on the back of their line out more, which is is where they went last last week as well when they got the penalty try and, and yellow card for Fraser. So um, yeah, it's nice to have clear things to work on, but but we do know that that Georgia Georgia beat Japan today, and and um, and they're going to be formidable. And and following that, you got South Africa coming here with with a, a fairly um, a fairly physical sort of sort of approach to the game. Plays like Mandy Bellows shooting that off his own line with the Tonga Rat tap and sort of replica the ball. Are those sort of heads up plays that when you're sort of encouraging players to sort of see what plays sort of what's in front of them in those moments? Yeah, I, I think you have to. Um, because if you get too staid, too static, um, then it's so hard to play. And I just felt that they found they found the space they needed to get into. Um, and while Tom's timing of his tap probably wasn't perfect, it, the result almost ended up with a with a try in the left hand corner. So we didn't we weren't far away from it, and um, and got the got the advantage from the offside. So um, again, it was a slightly easier kick and gave us that differential of eight points. I mean, I thought we struggled in elements of the game, but I, I, I thought we were really good in elements of the game. Um, I, I thought uh, Dowie Lake led his team incredibly well. He's he, he's he's an outstanding player, um, and uh, their, their pack operated really well. They've got a couple of young locks that people might not know too well at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that they'll make their names known. Um, and... Uh, you know, I've coached Tane Plumtree and know what an athlete he is. So, you know, I, I think we were made to work by by a group who were desperate. And, you know, the margins aren't massive in international rugby. And when you've got a team desperate, they're on the back of a losing streak, they, um, they really rolled their sleeves up. Um, so for us, yeah, sure, there are things that will be evident to everyone. That we need to do better. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Slips might have a better answer for it than than me. I've I've never been in one. You know. Uh, in fact, I try to stay out of contact completely. Um, so it, it's it's a massive part of the game. And when they got access and they went after them all, um, and got and got results from it. It, it did make it very hard for us, so we, we, we will be looking at that really hard and uh, and trying to find some solutions for sure. How does it feel to have won the silverware off the back? Oh, I didn't see the silverware, um, but but I, I, I'm just relieved that uh, that we got a couple of results because it'll help build some some belief in the in the players, and I'm also delighted with the, the group of, of men who are, who are really trying to commit to um, what we're trying to achieve. Uh, I felt there was a couple of times in the first half where we got very close to scoring and, and got turned over. 
um, which was really disappointing because I, I think if we could have kept the pressure on and, and maybe scored those, um, you, you, just, you just chip away a little bit at the confidence of, of our opponents. When you don't score there and they get a turnover and then they, they work their way down the field, uh, I think we gave them some momentum um, and we just can't afford to do that. The, the good teams um, are, are better at that and we've got to be better at that. I absolutely love the fact that he chased the chance. He worked. He worked hard for a, you know, it might be a one in ten, it might be a one in twenty, or a one in a hundred chance. But if you don't chase it, you're not in a position to make the most of it. And um, you know where he comes from when Fraser gets into space, he comes from way back and uh, chases so hard to get into a position where he can finish that try off. Um, and obviously the one with, um, you know, we're probably in the box saying, oh, no, we haven't found touch of good try sort of thing. Um, it, it was a bit fortuitous, um, but it's happened two weeks in a row that, you know, people have tapped balls back in, in field and, and tries have resulted. Yeah, he's a good kicker of the ball. Um, defensively, he, he's he's smart defending on the edge. He's obviously got power in the carry. He, he's got he's got enough pace to play on the edge. A um, couple of times he hasn't quite got the timing right to get uh, either into the into the tackle or up at the ball. But you know, I, I, I think he's he's capable of those things, and it's just a just a case of continuing to work on those elements. Um, when you've got someone who's working in behind the line like he does, um, you know, that, that's the package that you're looking for, really. Just left to yourself, you know, two close wins in a row where sort of the game's been balanced out. Is it just a sort of price of that a, a win like that, a moment, a moment sort of break, and do just to feel that confidence heading into a really important season? Well, that's what it does. It, it does build confidence. Um, as Joe said, we've been training hard for the last two, three weeks, and to get a bit of pay out of it's been really great. And I guess the confidence that we can build off that, that those performances uh, will only help us in the future. We've got some big games coming up and and we know we're going to have to be better as well. Like We, we kind of know where we are, but we're definitely getting confidence from how we're preparing and what we're producing, but we're not at the, uh, the perfect spot yet. Joe, we, um, we spoke during the week about expectations. Um, are you the type that, uh, that sort of resets after every week, or, or given that it's such uh, early days, are you going to have a look after Georgia and say, right, well, that's the first three matches and, and reassess how you are then? Um, a bit of both. Uh, we'll definitely reset for Georgia um, but and, and review what we did tonight. And, and even, you know, we'll, we'll review what we did during the week to prepare for tonight. Um, but at the end of this three-week block, we'll definitely, um, as coaches, and we'll we'll have an expectation of the players that they they feed back to us how they feel are preparing, what they can do to 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 continue to prepare well, and and what maybe we can do to uh, to prepare just a little bit better. Because I think if we can build on what we have done in the first two weeks here. Uh, it's another real challenge next week with, you know, you don't beat Japan in Japan easily. Uh, so, you know, we, we know that, that Georgia, I think they had a narrow loss to, to Fiji recently as well. There's, that, that, they're going to be, um, they're going to be a handful. So uh, I don't like looking too far forward. I obviously know TRC finish, uh, f follows this, but I, I just want to finish this block first. Yeah. 
Oh, it is a balance. Um, yeah, I think understanding what you're doing well and continuing that, but also understanding uh, individually and collectively where we need to get better. And uh, as I said earlier, like we we we're happy with you know the two results that we've gotten, but we understand that there's so much improvement in us. So we'll be searching for ways to get better, and that's probably the balance we're after. We're I wouldn't say we're, we're content, but we're we're confident that we're heading in the right direction. What about Nijo coming here to the team? Like, do you see the need for the young players, the guys who went to the Cup in three past years, and just reveling in the feeling of victory, as, as well as kind of reminding what's going on? Yeah, um, you know that the the result is the result, and we are delighted to have got two results. But we'll break it down and say just just how good were we in the breakdown, just how good were we in our connected line speed, how good were we when they put the ball in the air and 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 we were going up after it and we were getting support around that. So we'll we'll break it down a little bit like that so that um, you know obviously the the rolling moor was mentioned. You know we'll look at that and say okay well if that was an area that we want to work on. How do we make sure that, that we get that done? Uh, I mean, one of the solutions on field that, that the players uh, executed really well was, was to go up and contest the line out and, and not let them get the ball onto the ground that they could drive. And so, you know, the steal from Charlie and the steal from Lange were, I think, were crucial in the, mm -hmm. the end result. I'm pretty sure that's his first one, isn't it? So that's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, was it 70? Is it his first one? Yeah. Well, I thought it could have been. <laughs> well, there you go. That's probably why he was getting ripped. But 70 games into his test career, and unfortunately, you beat me. It took me 98, no, 90, 94 games. So <laughs> uh, it, it was a good moment. He's a big part of our team. He's, uh, you yeah, he's the. The, um, the heartbeat of the team. So the boys are really happy. Jay, just from an injury perspective, how's everyone? Yeah, pretty good. Um, you know, we had a, a few niggles this week um, and, and made early decisions in the week around, you know, guys like Harry Wilson and, and Len Ikatao coming back from uh, injury. And then, you know, Tom just had a bit of tightness in his, in his hamstring after the travel. Um, from Sydney, and um, and a couple of others were, were just just had niggly things, but I, I think we're in pretty good shape for uh, for a full squad um, next week. Last couple, of things. are you uh, wanting to give up other guys a bit more of a go next week, knowing that they're going to see the last game before the DRC starts? Or yeah. Or I'm always worried. I don't care who we're playing. I'm worried, um, and and worried makes you work hard and make sure that you try to be thorough in in, in the selections you do make. But um, I, I think we're trying to build a real squad mentality, and and have confidence in the players across the board. And one of the things I would say, and Liam said it last week, is the guys who weren't selected, they they're a massive part of the preparation of the team that go on and the subs who come on later in the game. And so, you know, that, 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 that's really important for us. Um, and, and then you earn opportunities on the back of that, I, I think. So they'll, they'll be decisions that we'll think through during the early part of the week. And, and, um, and, and we always have a little bit of a, you know, a, a medical um, on, a, on a Sunday morning and before we fly, just to make sure that guys have come through okay. Sometimes a guy will play a whole game, but he's got a bit of a maybe a hematoma or something like that 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 didn't stop him when he was in full flight, but stiffens up overnight or whatever. So um, ho hopefully we've got a squad to pick from, and um, and we've got confidence in the players who are in the squad. So uh, th th there probably will be a couple of changes. Uh, we made five changes this week, I think, and, and, and there could be that many 
again, you know, you're trying to build cohesion. It's a, it's a little bit of a different um, or difficult equilibrium that you're trying to find um, between that continuation of confidence and continuity and, and then uh, offering opportunity. Yeah, I do love coaching. Um, I, I keep trying to give it up, to be fair, but um, I've really enjoyed the, the staff. Uh, I think, you know, I was explaining, I I'd only met them now three weeks ago, and really enjoying the, the players. The players are, you know, it's a, it's a great group of, of young men and, and mature men. Um, a couple of older ones, um, but they hold the ship together. And uh, you know, some of those young guys. They, they, it was it was a tough day at the office for some of those young guys today. So, um, yeah, I I also enjoy um, getting to the end of this block and and taking a breath and then getting ready to go again. So, uh, one thing I would say is. Melbourne weather-wise was a bit complicated, but the people were fantastic. We got out and about, went to um, you know coaching clinics and um, trainings, and um, managed to to get to a few things that that linked us with the community that the players really enjoy doing and and did a great job of, thankfully. Thanks, Okay.